Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a true American, Michael Moore. Thank you, Yukon. I would like to see a Department of Peace. Um, I would like to see us always thinking about how we can create peace in this world amongst ourselves. The most important thing though that we need to do isn't, doesn't have anything to do with money, it has to do with how we think as, as human beings. And in every other Western democracy, they are structured around the concept of we. And we are structured around the concept of me. That's what has to change. The French, the Swedes, the Canadians, the Irish, the Czechs, they all operate with this sense of, we've got to make sure that no one is left behind, that there's a safety net for anybody who does fall between the cracks. And, and we all get better as a society when we make sure everybody has a good education, when everybody can see a doctor when they need to see one, um, when our old people don't have to worry. And we're going to have to get them to take the money, to take the money out of politics. That will be difficult. But remember, women got the vote and not one single woman could vote for that amendment. <laughs> Think of how hard that must have been, right? It's like, how do we get the right to vote when not one of us can vote to get that right? And yet they did it. So we need to just get, we need to just get inspired by these young people who are in the balcony here and who are out there all across the country and get involved and do these things that really, um, that I think can happen. But it's gonna to have to take a real spark and everybody's gonna to have to do it. Everybody has to be that leader and that spokesperson. Uh, let me, first of all, let me uh, bring you greetings from Occupy Wall Street. Uh, this is something now that is a little over uh, eight weeks old. And it is amazing how this has just spread like wildfire across the country. And it has spread without any leaders, uh, no organization, no rules, no dues, <laughs> no central committee in DC, uh, no pre-made signs by the Workers' World Party. <laughs> And at first, of course, it was ridiculed. Well, first it was ignored, actually, wasn't it, the first week. Then they, then the media started laughing at it. They'd go down and just show the hippies in their drum circle, right? And um, by the third or fourth week, uh, when they began to see grandmothers down there, and people in suits, and um, um, farmers, and steel workers, it began, it began to get a little threatening because it wasn't just the hippies. And, um, but of course you need the hippies. You, every movement needs those who are willing to take, those who are willing to take the risks. Somebody has to burn the first bra. Somebody has to burn the first draft card, right? And, and they are crucified for it, aren't they? But uh, it, someone has to get the ball rolling. And that's what these kids have done. Uh, this is a movement really that's really at its core are young people. And the, this, those of you who are older in here tonight, you should really take heart in this, that there are so many young people that are this aware of economics. Do you remember economics in high school? That was the class you tried to get out of. We used, it, for younger people in here, you actually used to have to, you had to take a semester of government and a semester of economics um, in high school. And they used to have things called civics classes where they taught you things like one person, one vote, and how you could run for office and things like that. They don't teach that anymore because it's not on the state mandated test. Um, <laughs> young people, first of all, I, I just want to say a few more words about this. Um, they put Barack Obama into the White House. And this is a story that really, I don't think, has been reported very well. So I would just like to go back and repeat, uh, if you haven't heard them, some statistics. Are you aware, first of all, that 
18 to 29 year olds was the only white demographic that Obama won. He lost every other age group amongst white people in this country. Are you aware of that? Did you know that? It's the only white demographic that he won, 18 to 29 year olds. And he won with a 10 million vote margin, three times what Bush beat Kerry with. Not counting Ohio. Um, <laughs> but that's, a, that's an amazing thing. And when you think about that too, that I think McCain got 57% uh, percent of, of the um, white male vote and McCain got 53% of the white female vote. So Obama lost that too. But there was a huge record number of African American and Hispanic voters. Uh, in, in the election in a way. Um, and together with white people of all races, they put this man uh, into the White House. And it's, I, I, it bothers me that so much of our media, so much of our political discourse, always seems to be directed toward that white guy. You know, trying to appeal to him or trying to convince him to go along with a health care bill or to go along with raising taxes on the rich. And there's that, he's that mythical voter that's somewhere in Kansas that, that all of our political discourse seems to be aimed at, right? They never stop to think about, geez, I wonder how this, I wonder how African Americans will feel about this if we did this. I wonder what the Hispanic voters will think about this. You know, what will 20 year olds think about this? That never gets, to, you never hear that on the Sunday morning talk shows, do you? The conservative in your, think about this, the conservative in your family never loses their car keys, right? <laughs> They always, you, us, right? We can never find our keys. Have you seen my keys? No, I haven't seen your keys. I thought I put them over there. No, no, I think you left them in. No, I, I gave them to you. No, not the conservative. No, they've got little hooks by the back door with the label maker. There's my Beamer key. There's my Hummer key. There's my Mercedes. And so that's how we sound. We sound like, uh, um, it's a liberal tone of voice. Uh, 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 where do you want to go eat tonight? Uh, I don't know. Where do you want to go? Uh, I don't know. We could go get pizza. Uh, we had pizza last week. Uh, let's get Chinese. Uh, uh, uh. You know, a conservative, they, they're like, get in the car. We're going to Ponderosa. That's it. Decisive. Decisive. We live in a liberal country. You know that, right? We live in a liberal country. Over 60% of your fellow Americans want these wars to end now. Right. They want the troops on now. Right. 80% want stronger environmental laws, not weaker ones. 85. 85% believe women should be paid the same as men. Now want taxes raised on the rich. 72%. That's a liberal position. Every one of these positions are the liberal position, and the majority come down on the liberal side. In September, for the first time, the polls show that 54% of your fellow Americans now believe that gay marriage should be the law of the entire land. 54%. That's the America you live in. That's the America. You live in that America! They must just be thinking right now tonight <clears throat> as they, you know, leave Wall Street and come home to Connecticut. <laughs> Only the losers. <laughs> some nice homes in New Jersey. <laughs> Do you realize that we, as in a democracy, we have the right to pass any law that we want to? We have the power to do anything as long as it fits within the constitutional guidelines, and we can change that if we want to. But, but think of how much we could do just within the existing constitution with, with the laws that we could enact. That must just, see, we don't usually think like that, but trust me, 
The wealthy think like that. They must think like that. I think that uh, where this movement is going is that uh, this is, it's only going to continue to grow. But trust me, I believe that, this, that something will grow out of this. And let's let the young people take this in the way that they're taking it because I think something good will arise out of this. And let's not get too worried or too pushy right now because they've done pretty well without leaders and advice from their elders. Um, so, um, and join in, join in with them. Um, um, it's the opposite of teach your children. It's the second verse of that song. And, um, um, and we need, we could learn something from our kids uh, right now. Because this group, uh, this Occupy Wall Street does not have an organization or leaders or spokespeople, that we have anointed everybody to be a leader and a spokesperson. And so that means if you live in Willimantic and there's no Occupy Willimantic, you can start Occupy Willimantic when you leave here tonight. That's the great thing to answer your question about this Occupy movement is that it takes so little to kill apathy. It's just, and that's what this movement is all, it already has some huge victories. It has killed apathy. It has changed the national discussion. We don't talk about the debt ceiling anymore. And the media, I mean, I don't even know what to call them anymore because uh, the large companies that own them have decimated the newsrooms. Uh, there are not uh, enough reporters. They eliminated beats. Uh, bureaus have been eliminated all over the world, and all over the country. Uh, that's why you don't, you don't hear about the things I've seen in the last month as I've traveled the country. We can all choose to reject it. You can turn it off. You can, uh, um, and the great thing about the internet is we can create our own media. We can talk to each other now. This is one of the greatest invention. I mean, obviously, I think in our lifetime, I wasn't intended to turn this country into this egalitarian chat room, but, uh, but you know, before, like let's say if I came to Yukon tonight and I left um, uh, 15, 20 years ago, you'd have no way uh, to get a hold of me if you wanted to give me an idea or tell me something, something that's going on here in Connecticut. I, I, how would I find that? You could write me a letter, I guess. Where would you send it to? How would you find me? You know, I mean, it was very difficult. If you wanted your voice heard, you could write a letter to the editor, and maybe they would run it, edit it. That was all we had, right? Until the internet. Now we can talk to each other. Now we can create our own websites. Um, you can create your own website. You can get on Twitter. You can get 10 friends and 10 followers and tell them to get 10, and now you've got 100 people, you know, listening to what you have to say. Um, there's, there, this can also, this is a great moment right now if we take advantage of it, I think. Yeah. But, you know, people can make their feelings known in a very strong and loud way. We're not alone uh, in this. Yes, there's going to be a fight. They're not going to give up this money without a real fight. Uh, you know, this, this is why they want a leader of Occupy Wall Street, because they want to be able to put their hands around somebody's neck. <laughs> they can't get their hands around 10 million necks. Um, would you allow an education system to crumble as we have ours when we make it the lowest priority on the ladder of priorities um, you uh, send out into the world a lot of ignorant people um, that benefits those in power because uh, when someone is ignorant it's easy to manipulate them with fear and uh, fear Fear leads to hate, and hate leads to violence. Make it fun. Don't make it, don't make it boring. Don't make it deadly. Have fun doing it. Keep your sense of humor. You know, make it whatever, whatever rock and roll is to you, make it that. Uh, th th a lot of movements fail because they fail to understand that we're human beings. And, and we need that. We can't, it can't all be doom and gloom. So, I don't know if that's helpful or not, but, you know, We'll be back with Dr. Phil right after this conversation. <laughs> but just, I mean, and some of you need to run for office. Some of you should be able to run for office. Seriously. Look at what you're up against. You're not up against the masterminds of, of, of the 21st century, okay? I just have a lot of hope that, that they will make things better.